enjoy their match day 46, the last one, the one against Hull that everyone's been waiting for. Nothing to play for for us, but a lot to uh, at stake with injury-wise, stuff like that. Do we play a strong side and make sure we beat them going in, or do we rest some players and prevent any injuries? We'll soon see with the lineup that comes out. However, we've started the day in the pub. We're getting all weather spoons with a nice all-day brunch, followed by a few beers and then head into the ground. Let's get into it. Cheers to the last game. Then uh, eight changes to the team lineup today. Very different squad than we first thought. Um, no strikers on the bench. It's going to be an interesting one. Um, it's going to make it a lot more tight. As long as we don't lose today, I think keep the run going. That's the main thing. Then five minutes before kickoff, the Hull owners put on free travel for Hull. Lots of um, fancy dress for them, so fair play to all thousand of them turning up. Another bit of a mistake at the back from Bradley, let him run through. Ten minutes gone. We're closing down well though. A couple of early goals. Millwall's gone in the lead, West Brom in the lead. At the moment, Millwall sit, Coventry are around fifth. <laughs> Batman have just equalised and Coventry have gone 1 0 up at Borough. Swansea have equalised, so West Brom got drop pack out and it is back to Millwall in sixth place. <laughs> Good header. I did well to get on target as a bullet to be fair. As it stands, Millwall 3-1 up and Coventry is still winning 1-0, so we are still playing Millwall as present. Time, Middlesbrough equalised, so at the moment we are playing Coventry. Coventry have equalised. And there you are, first half, nil-nil, very much as expected. No strikers other than Joe Taylor on the pitch. Um, we're closing down really well, really pressing. Um, Creative-wise, we're, we're passing the ball around to be fair, but we're just defending very well. And it's nil-nil at the moment. Hopefully second half, get some more passing around. Won't be too many goals in it. The atmosphere's quite dry to be honest with you. Obviously everyone's expecting goals, but there isn't going to be uh, with the team that we've got on. Most important thing, it's all about not obviously losing to try and keep the momentum going, especially with the team we've got. If we can prove with our B team or whatever that we can do it, then it will really boost the confidence. At the moment we're playing Coventry because Middlesbrough just equalised and Millwall winning. So let's get to the second half. Oh. 
Sunderland take the lead, so that means if Coventry lose, we could be playing Sunderland. It's still 1 1 in the Coventry game at the moment.
So it's just been confirmed we are playing Sunderland now in the uh, semi finals. Fucking shit! No fucking shit! No fucking shit! Ticket for the Sunderland queue already. All the way down the road, just straight after the game. And there you have it. Luton are playing Sunderland in the next round for the semi finals. I don't know how I feel really. 45,000 fans against Luton um, should be a good one. Um, I've got a Sunderland fan who said a little bit more confident that we'll win. However, it's uh, what it is on the day. I will be back live on Tuesday for the home leg. Unfortunately, I can't make it to the away leg due to my daughter's birthday. However, we'll see you on Tuesday for the home leg. If you did like today's video, please do drop us a like, a sub, and let us know in the comments what you think. See you on the next one.